Here is our isotonicity question. U are to compound 60 ml of an isotonic eye drop. Drug X is a liquid with E value of 0 0.33. Sodium chloride will be used to prepare the final concentration of 1 to 500 weight per volume. How many milligrams of sodium chloride must be added to make the eye drops isotonic? Answer must be numeric, no units or commas, round the final answer to the nearest whole number. Well, if you can picture, we are making an eye drop like what I drew here. It's going to be 60 milliliters in total. It's drug X that I represent with the red dots. And we're being asked to figure out how many milligrams of the black dots or the sodium chloride am I going to have to add to make this solution isotonic. And we know isotonic 0.9% saline Normal saline consists of sodium chloride dispersed in sterile water at a concentration that makes the volume remain in extracellular fluid space so that it doesn't change the size of the cells. Rather than go through all the steps of the book, I felt like this was a more simplified way of writing it. Grams of sodium chloride to make this solution isotonic if we had no drug, minus grams of drug times E value. So I'm going to start with it completely isotonic, and then I'm going to subtract out the drugs after I can convert it to something equivalent to the grams of sodium chloride. That's why I'm going to use my E value. I think of it like, like density, and I'm just converting it because it will not take up the same amount of space or have the same molecular weight as sodium chloride. And so let's go ahead and do it. 0.9 percent is isotonic. So I can rewrite it as 0 0.9 grams NaCl over 100 milliliters. That is going to tell us that we have a concentration that is isotonic. But now I want to find out how many grams of sodium chloride are in this particular solution to make it isotonic. That is all I want to know here to answer this portion, just that portion. So if I do my little calculation here, we'll get X grams of sodium chloride if there is no drug. Um, so go ahead and calculate that and see what you come up with. All right, so we got 0 0.54 grams of sodium chloride. And move up this because I got the answer for that portion. I'm just going to fill out the second part where it says grams of drug times E value. So right now I'm looking simply for grams of drug. What I do know is the final concentration of the drug that we want, and it's one to 500. Another way of saying one to 500, we could write it like this. 1 to 500 weight to volume. We could make it equal to one another, say 1 gram over 500 mLs. And we're looking to make it equal to 60 mLs. So basically what this is saying is our final concentration of 1 to 500 would get us how many grams of drug in this 60 ml solution. That gets me 0 0.12, 0 0.12 grams of drug. But this is grams of drug, so we can't subtract it out of the grams of sodium chloride. That's why we need the E value. Move it up here, multiply it by the E value, which they told us we didn't have to calculate that ourselves. I get 0 0.0396 grams and that has that's the sodium chloride equivalent we it's like saying that it is sodium chloride now that it is sodium chloride i can subtract it from the 0 0.54 yay um but i'm not done right i always need to double check am i answering the actual question the question says how many milligrams of sodium chloride? How many milligrams? That only got me grams. So I'm gonna move my decimal point three times three places to the right. 
100 milligrams. I round down, <laughs> 500 milligrams should be the answer. That's the correct answer. 500 milligrams of sodium chloride are needed to add to the solution to make the solution okay. isotonic.